What's going on everybody? My name is Lord Davy and welcome back to Rewriting Indiana Jones. We are on our last little story. So this gentleman right here, this is Indiana Jones' proctologist and uh, he's been on a few adventures with Indiana here and there, getting invited over to, you know, put some treasures up his butt so he can struggle getting across certain borders. The, the, the little picture and he is like, that's going up my ass, you gotta be kidding me! I was like, don't worry, Indiana. Everybody knows you're dummy thick. It won't be a problem. Then he gets uh, kidnapped by a foe we'll reveal later. So Indiana, he's uh, looking into this. He's like, God damn it, I needed that fucking proctologist for a upcoming mission. Now he's leaving me fucking clues to God only knows what. Here we see the new curator of the British Museum. He uh, doesn't know that um, Professor Jones and Indiana Jones are the same person, but they're trying to find uh, an article known as uh, Mary Magdalene's Cup, and that little cross thing, that was the, the key to it, which was what his proctologist was looking up. So we're right now going in incognito mode in Venice, trying to find the shield that'll reveal the location of said cup. And then there's little, uh, there's Donovan, the guy that gave us the tickets, that's his daughter. A little abusive shit. And Indiana, he, he fell head over heels in lust with her. Not love, he doesn't do love, but he will impregnate her. A couple of things that have happened in the meantime, um, so when Indiana had the treasures in the Temple of Doom, um, he was exposed to them for a little bit teensy too long, and uh, now whenever he's going, whenever he defeats an enemy, they actually spew out um, money. So that's a uh, that's that's quite the quite the gift for him. And another thing, he can slowly but surely heal over time. So yeah, that's uh, another plus side to that treasury stole. But yeah, I got one of my buddies, Brody, over here. He's a uh, He's one of the professors at Oxford University. He's like, hey, you know, you, you go on all these adventures. Why don't I tag along? Could be fun. So we have a pretty good understanding of where this damn cross is, thanks to this journal that my pro proctologist kept up. He's kind of newer to the game. Um, his name is actually Henry Jones. No relation, but it's just, uh, just things just kind of worked out. One day, Indiana was on a little adventure, and, um... He was trying to figure out how to smuggle this one treasure across a border, and uh, uh, Dr. Jones came up to him and was like, Hey, uh, might you just, like, let me do some surgery on your butt, and uh, we can we can work together, and if I can have a share. And he was like, I don't really do shares, but pretty desperate, so yeah. So, ever since then, him and the other Jones have been kind of working together here and there. Not too often, just often enough. Indiana feels so out of sorts. He's not used to going incognito mode. Usually likes to flaunt around his hat and satchel and wig. But yeah, anyway, more about that cup. So, it's uh, actually quite a special cup. It was the cup that belonged to uh, Mary Magdalene, you know, the, the whore that hang out, hung out with Jesus. Apparently, this stuff will... It, it's pretty much an STD repulsor. Uh, essentially, like, if somebody gives you AIDS, you, you're a carrier of AIDS, but you won't feel any of the symptoms. And the same with, like, hepatitis, herpes, like, any kind of STD whatsoever. You get it, and you carry it, but you won't get the symptoms. And since Indiana's quite the womanizer, he's, uh, he's pretty okay with this, this one. That treasure to him, well, it'll, uh, be a lot worth even more than any any of the money. So he's like, alright, bro, let's go. He's like, what, what? No, this is a fucking Gucci suit right here. You fucking go. He's like, fine, I will, dick, but, you know, you're not getting a cut of the treasure. There's Elsa just disrespecting the dead. Little bitch. That should be a red flag for Indiana just immediately. But it's not, because she's got huge tits. Actually, you know, you, you... Okay, I need to check out something. 
your butt. Indiana, he's not too worried about his suit. As much money as he makes, he's, uh... It, he can just buy, like, fucking seven more and it not be an issue. And yes, he will ruin one suit and buy seven more. Why are you slow-ass walking? What, what are you doing? Why did you have to walk around it? Just fucking walk from behind it, idiot. You know, you push this heavy-ass thing. Indiana doesn't give any shits. He will destroy anything to get his treasure. So there we have a, uh, uh, a doctor slash historian right there. He's pretty much trying to destroy any and all evidence of that fucking cup because if you have a whore with that kind of power, it could cause just so much damage to this world. Get out of here. They're like, hey, what you're doing, it's it's very fucking unethical. It's it's super duper rude and we're we're gonna put a stop to it. <laughs> and he's like, fuck you, you can't tell me what to do with my body. And they're like, We're we're not really, we're just saying, hey, don't be a fucking whore and give like hundreds, if not thousands of people STDs. And it's just like, fuck you, I do what I want. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Don't know what his guy was doing there. Taking a little fucking detour. Where the hell did he go? Oh my god! Say uncle. Say uncle ass. It's like, Jesus Christ, fine, fucking be a whore. Fucking get clothes, girls, guys, or whatever. Fucking STD ridden. We don't care. It's like, by the way, we've kept tabs on your uh, fucking proctologist, too. And turns out the fucking British Museum are behind this. Yeah. Nobody saw that coming. Yeah, they, they kidnapped Indy's proctologist and trying to sabotage him in order to get the cups themselves. They're not going to use it, they just want to fucking put it on display for the world. But they are, uh, this is a little bit have to do with revenge since, you know, the last curator was killed and a whole bunch of staff was killed when Indiana did that whole mess with the, uh, with the devil's loot box thing. They're like, hey, I was like, hey, you know how you're like the most famous treasure hunter in the world? Let's, uh, let's fucking, you know, do the skies on you. And the butler's like, sir, I, I know you're Indiana Jones. Please leave. Seriously. Like, I, that, that's your hat. Alright, now we're gonna get the damn proctologist. And, uh, try and find out more about this damn cup. Alright, let's go get him. There's a colonel, it's like, hey, if, uh, you know, give me that journal, I'm gonna blow her fucking balloon spleen out. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's cool, I wanna bang her so you don't shoot her. Mr. Jones, he's just like, you freaking idiot, that's the, that's the damn new curator's daughter. You think you can trust her? And he's like, well, I know I couldn't trust her, I just wanted to pork her. He's like, hey old man, let's set their library on fire, that'd be hilarious.
Don't know why they wouldn't just go ahead and kill me, but oh well, that's gonna be their problem. Yeah, even though I've caused like a lot of death and destruction and despair for the British Museum, they're merciful, I will say. Mr. Jones and Indiana don't really have too too much to say. They don't have a they don't really have a whole lot in common. They just both equally like treasure. Indiana typically does more of like the heavy lifting, but Mr. Jones will help out when needed. Especially with butt stuff. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, thankfully these guys are dropping money left and right. I'm profiting off of their debts! Hey, remember me a couple seconds ago? Well now I have a different hat. It's like that you do, and that's a damn fine hat on you. Damn fine, you go right ahead, Mr. Jones. Alright, now let's get the fuck out of here. Mr. Jones is like, oh no, did you sprain your ass? Oh, I'll have to do a checkup on you immediately. Here I come. <laughs> so we're finally out of that damned castle. Mr. Jones is like, oh hey, look, a boat. We can, uh, we can just take this down. Yeah, it's like, are you stupid? What is this, a date? No, we're doing this the badass way. We're going on motorcycles. He's like, huh? I hardly think it's a date. We're just getting the fuck out of here. I don't really think it matters how we go about it. It's just like, well, I'm choosing this mode of transportation. Like it or lump it, you can choose the next one. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. That was weird. And like what you were doing. Anyway, let's go. Um, yes, hello. I'm with Child Protective Services. And, uh, I'm here to take your son away, unless you, like, let me through the door. Oh, well, yeah, I don't want to lose my fucking son. Yeah, go through the door. Hey, still got this hat. Let me through, or I'll take your daughter. Okay, I don't even have a daughter, but I don't want to fuck with you, so just go right in. You knock, knock, I'm with Jehovah's Witness. Knock it, knock the shit off, Jones. I know it's you. Just, just take, take whatever you want. I don't care. Psycho with the damn rocket launch over here. But he's a damn good proctologist. One, two, three, four. And you did. Cool. And since I'm here, treasure. Jesus Christ! Leave me alone! Oh my god! Why are you everywhere now? Jesus! Fuck you guys, I'm out of here! So you can take a nice boat ride or go on a blimp. He's like, hey asshole, remember our last conversation? I choose the next place, so we're going on a blimp ride. And that's the end of it. So we, before we go on the blimp ride, we gotta, we snuck into their base and blackmailed Elsa. I'm like, hey, uh, if you don't give me that journal, I'm gonna choke you like a fucking chicken. And she's just like, no, that's kind of kinky, but, uh, I don't think you're talking about the way I, we're, I want you to. But here you go. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's gonna do it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, feel free to follow me and I'll follow you right back. And if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that's gonna do it. Bye!